I love being a paleontologist. I really do feel like the, the five-year-old me who thought that this would happen someday but went through different paths and then I wasn't sure is, is just that part of me is the part of me that says, you go girl. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tara Lapori, and I'm a science teacher and paleontologist at the ALF Museum and the Webb Schools. As a woman in the field of paleontology, generally I've had good interactions with people uh, regarding being a woman. I haven't, I've been lucky, I haven't really experienced much in the way of discrimination. Um, but as a woman, in certain jobs I've had in paleontology, there have been a few times where, let's say I'm working around construction sites or um, areas uh, that might have people who, um, you know, you're, sometimes when you're working in paleontology, you might not be out in the middle of nowhere. Some of the jobs I've had have been in downtown Los Angeles. So as a woman, you know, you get cat calls or you might have comments that kind of make your stomach twist. And that kind of thing is something that I know is uh, a symptom of a greater issue that many women are facing in STEM fields in, and in paleontology. So um, even though I feel like I've been fortunate not to have very many of these discriminatory issues, I think it's important to support and mentor um, and guide a lot of our young and even early career, ongoing career paleontologists and especially women paleontologists and um, male paleontologists, female identifying paleontologists, to recognize that um, as a community and as decent human beings, we really should be um, civil and polite and respectful to one another. So how can we support equality in the sciences? I think it's a really important um, thing that we need to have a dialogue about. We need to make sure that diversity in all of its forms is not only accepted, but is actually encouraged. So whether we're talking about having more girls going into science, more women paleontologists, um, whether we're talking about more uh, visibility for people of color, visibility for LGBT individuals, um, regardless of the type of diversity, I think it's so important for people who are learning about science to really see people who are like themselves in the field they want to go into. And above all, I think it it helps us um, as scientists and as human beings create a, a more empathetic and more understanding and more respectful community and, and world. So um, I think it's really important that um, we increase not only our dialogue on diversity but really take active steps to make sure that we are um, helping to mentor and uh, coach the people who are going to be the next generations, as well as talk about where we are now and have uh, fruitful discussions about how to make things better. I decided to become a paleontologist when I was about three years old and my mom gave me a little dinosaur toy that I was super enthralled with. And from there, I started reading about fossils. I started reading about paleontology and uh, by the time I reached high school, you know, I'd gone through like every kid does, various different career options, but I was always really interested in paleontology. So I ended up studying biology, which is one of the ways you can go uh, and further your career in paleontology. And then I started to get some research experience, which was really great. And that really helped me figure out that um, paleontology was something I could actually do as a job. And when I started teaching, that was another um, aspect of, of my real passion for paleontology because then I could bring that that interest in that research and uh, all of that good experience I'd, I'd had and, and bring it to the next generations of paleontologists. Oh my gosh, the best part of my job. <laughs> so I really love my job and there are many parts of it that I enjoy. Uh, I'd say probably the best part of my personal job as a teacher is I love working with students and students teach me believe it or not, as much as I think I teach them. So it's a remarkable thing every day to be able to come in and have a discussion about world events, about environmental science, about the history of our planet, um, with young people who are gonna go on and, and do great things um, and really uh, have an impact uh, on the people around them and potentially on our, 
on, on our whole planet. So I love that aspect of uh, being especially an environmental science teacher. And as a paleontologist, I, I really enjoy being able to come in every day and do something that five-year-old or three-year-old me would be absolutely overjoyed to know that I was doing, which is work with fossils and um, work with some really great people. And uh, it's just a really lovely community. So my message to young people who are interested in paleontology is to keep in mind that uh, you can take whatever path you want to take to get to be uh, the person or the career, to do the career that you want to do or be the person that you want to be. So that happens in your own time, at your own pace. Don't be discouraged if you have setbacks. Um, don't be discouraged if you don't see pe people, a lot of people who look like you um, in your field because so many of us are supportive and many of us are out there and we're rooting for you. So um, stay strong in your school subjects, but remember that there are a lot of people out there who really want to see you succeed and uh, just do things in your own time. So thank you for watching. If you want to find out more about what I do and keep in touch with me, you can follow me on Twitter or on Facebook. We have the Paleontology Education Facebook group. We're a wonderful group of people and we're looking forward to having more folks join us. Uh, you can also check out my blog and you can also follow our podcast, The Teach Revolution. So there are lots of ways to get in touch with me and I hope to hear from you soon.